Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today in the jar we've got David Hawkins. We're still going with David Hawkins. A fresh set of nine quotes in here and the topic is going to be your plan versus God's plan. So what is your plan that you have for yourself or perhaps your dream? What is your dream? And what is God's plan for you or the universe? Maybe the universe has a completely different plan for you. And the topic came about, well, I've had a different topic in mind for today, actually. The whole week, I thought we were going to be looking at something about defending versus collaborating. And that's what I've been thinking the entire week. And then I went on this incredible walk and with my mom, we went to our local park and I got this beautiful feather. Take a look at this feather. I'll show you. I don't know if it's coming up. Hang on. Oh, it's not coming up. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. You can see it now. Isn't that incredible? And this is, this sits on the top of the cockatoo's head and I'll give you a picture of what a cockatoo looks like <clears throat> in case you haven't been to this part of the world and seen these incredible birds that have beautiful white wings and they have this in amazing spread of yellow feathers on top and this is so incredibly precious i have lived in this country for so long since i was born i left to go to england when i was 24 but every year i'd come home and you know go on walks in all kinds of places i've been to rainforests this that i've picked up feathers but i've never ever had one of these so i found this and something happened this morning where you know i looked up the meaning of what it is when a cockatoo crosses your path when a cockatoo crosses your path it brings light it brings illumination and there's also something comedic actually about the cockatoo they're they're a bit of a comedy character here in this country and the other thing about them is that they're full of mischief and this morning when i was doing my meditation i got strongly guided to change the topic completely and to look at this concept of your dream versus god's dream or god's plan for you and the story that i have with this concept is by Caroline Mace. She's a famous spiritual teacher. I've learned so many things from her over the years. I've read her books. I've been to her. I've attended lectures with her in person. I've done so much work with this incredible lady. And she said that she had a dream when she was young that she wanted to, and she told this to one of the nuns at her college. She said, well, my dream is that I want to win the Pulitzer Prize, and then I want to start a publishing company, and then I want to do this, and then I want to do that. And then she had all these things that she wanted to do. And the nun just looked at her and said, do you want to make God laugh? And Caroline said, well, yeah, okay, how? And the nun says, just tell him your plans. And then she starts to laugh. And I thought that was really funny. And that tied in with the feather, because I've been wondering, why do I have this feather? Why did this come? And everything tied in after today's meditation, everything just made sense. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm changing the topic then. So we're doing a brand new topic. And yeah, let's see what comes. So we'll explore your dream and we'll explore what God has in mind for you too. We'll see what comes. So feel free to choose from group one, group two, or group three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, you are in the right place. And if you missed the intro, don't worry at all. I will bring you up to speed. Basically, we're going to do, I think we'll do one row that is your dream and then we'll do the next row, which is God's dream. What is God's dream for you? So let's see who you want to become. I've got this animal spirit deck. I thought this would be an interesting way to go with this topic. So that's you. This is who you want to become. And let's shuffle for what does the universe God want you to become okay oh got two things 
I'm going to put it back in. <laughs> I was tempted to take it out, but we're just going to have one. Uh, let's see what's going to come next. All right, how about we have one of these? Queen of the Moon Oracle. Because, you know, this thing of what we want to do versus what God might want from us is so fascinating. And if I look back at the dreams I had when I was young, like in my early 20s, I'm very thankful right now that none of those worked out. <laughs> I'm like really, really happy that God had other things in mind for me, you know. And some of that hasn't been easy, but at the same time, uh, I'm far more grateful for how things have gone, how things are going, you know. And the more I let go and allow, the more I give space and time for the universe to surprise and delight me. Because one thing that I've discovered is that God can do it far better than I can. Whereas if I try to control everything, well, that's when I discover things don't go so well. Okay, let's take a look. So we're shuffling for your your dream. It's going to be quite a spread here. We'll just take two, I think, for the start. And then we'll take, if we need any, any clarifiers or any more information, we can do that. No, I'm not feeling any of those. Let's keep going. All right, that one. It's obvious. Good. And do you know, why don't we shuffle in a bit? Because otherwise there's too much shuffling. We, we kind of break it up a bit. All right, let's see. Let's see what is your dream. What, is, what are you wanting to become? Ooh, an oyster. Oh, how stunning. And the first thing that popped into my mind is like you want to become something of extremely high worth, high value. You're on your way to becoming an extremely high worth not net worth, which is a phrase that, you know, people toss around. They're always Google searching people's net worth and all that. No, no, not that. You want to become a high worth individual. Something you want to be a real, a real prize. You, you're, and this is something that will form slowly over time. And I think you know that. So you've got a great dream already as to what you want to become. I'm liking this a lot prize something rare something special because i'm thinking of the pearl that's inside and the amount of time that, that must take because i believe it starts as a grain of sand if i'm not mistaken let's see all right let's see your full spread and then we'll see what god wants for you okay let's do it that way so ah oh, protection all right we've got quite a bit of protection here we've got the oyster shell and we've got protection this card comes a lot in these readings. Wow. Okay. Lovely. I'm getting just now that there's something you might be hiding yourself away. Something along these lines. Oh, music, how beautiful. That's stunning. Yes, music. Okay. Perhaps your dream is that you want well you wanted to be a musician perhaps maybe that was a big dream that you had hearing a bird quite loudly in the background and if you can hear that all right seven of wands yeah this is interesting this was something i wanted to explore today which was defending versus collaborating but there's something here to do with your dream and it could be that you perceive that if you let your light shine really brightly it would attract yes it would attract fans and people who love you but equally it would attract people who would come for you as well and that is something I completely understand you know it, it, it if you let your light shine bright and you, like you're up on stage or something yeah there'll be fans but we certainly don't want to have critics or people attacking us or saying, well, why did you choose to do it that way? Uh, that's something that nobody particularly wants to experience. I totally understand that. 
Page of Wands, beautiful. And I think this is coming along here to say, I feel like you haven't quite started yet or you're about to start or there's something you're at the start possibly of sharing your gifts of sharing your dream I think you're at the start or you're yet to start you're yet to really start Interesting. Let's keep going with that because that can mean quite a few things there. Let's see what is God's dream for you. Let's shuffle and get two more. God's dream for you. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, how beautiful, butterfly. Yes, this is great. Look at that straight away. Because you are, you're mm, like, your wings haven't come out yet. You see, you're at the beginning, you're about to flourish. Like there's so much beauty. And it's like, I feel like God's dream for you is that you are flying, that you are revealing you know the wings are out you're you're flying you're on show we can see all the magnificent colors we can see you in full flight yeah that's what that's what the universe wants from you god the universe everyone wants to see you so i think you've been tucked away or you've been hidden away here self-love I feel like this is giving you a bit of an answer. If you're feeling like, like, how am I ever going to get here? I'd rather be hidden. I feel safer, you know, being hidden. Because, and rightly so, because you don't want to experience too much of this. No one does. You know, uh, critics and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I completely understand that. This kind of energy kept me trapped inside my shell for so long. I know what this is. Boy, have I been here worried about all of this. And I still do. I still, you know, yeah, no one likes to be overly criticized or told that they're, you know, what, what they're doing isn't, isn't a good thing, right? I, I totally understand that. But I feel like the universe is saying now the guidance is self-love is the key if you believe in you then th that's really the only approval you need to win in this life if you approve of you that's it then you can have as many and I'm getting the word detractors or like as many critics I think critics is probably a better word you can have as many of these if you approve of you you're gonna be fine Yours is really the only approval that counts, and it's the hardest to get as well. I know that. We're all very hard on ourselves, you know. And especially, I think you're enormously hard on yourself because of that high, n high worth thing that I was talking about. I think you want to be absolutely excellent at what you do. And I think maybe part of you is like, if I'm not excellent, then I shouldn't even begin. You know, it's like only until... I am completely ready to take on this amount of heat or criticism or whatever. But this is the thing. Until you start, you don't know. And you will have fans. And the people who support you and back you, they'll give you the fuel to take on whatever comes your way. Let's see what else God has in mind. Oh, wow, children. Beautiful. So I feel like the gifts that you have been given in this life were definitely known to you as a child. These are gifts that you've had from birth, basically. This is some inborn thing that God has given you. And I know when it's like that, if it's something that God gave you right from the start, right from the get-go, 
you have been cultivating these skills over a very long time. And I think you, you might not realize that they are fully formed and ready to go. You're ready to go, I, I feel like. And this has nothing to do with age, nothing at all. Remember Louise Hay, she started her company aged 50. I'm pretty sure it was Frank Lloyd Wright who was doing some of his best architectural designs. I think he was in his 80s, if I remember correctly, but I know he was getting on in age. So, you know, when, when you draw this, page of wands card and 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 this is a start but this is a beginning at a at a very high level possibly as well after a lot of cultivation a lot of careful work that you've been doing amazing amazing group one i'm loving this spread page of pentacles okay so in terms of resources i'm getting a feel that God, the universe will certainly provide, but don't feel like you have to have it all before you begin. Sometimes we think we need to have more finances to do our dream than we actually need. You know, so, and I'll give you an example with YouTube. They always say with YouTube, just start with your phone camera. Don't have to buy a big fancy camera. Believe me, if I had money I would have bought uh, I know exactly what kind of DSLR I would want and you know I, I have ideas and this and that and I just don't have that kind of money <laughs> so I do I do use a camera I use the Canon what have I got Canon G7X Mark II that's what all the vloggers have so I bought that one but yeah I, and this is why God has limited me financially because um, because they want me to get good at my craft first yes I'm still kind of working but believe me I know what it is to want or to think we need to have money before we can begin whereas actually you don't I feel like whatever you have it's like you and especially like if you're a musician well you just need to save up for a guitar don't you or you just need a piano or you know you don't need a full studio with all the fancy technical gear just yet amazing let's see what we've got here all right the eight of swords yes and another thing that god god's plan for you is that he wants you to see this for what it is and this card the eight of swords is always illusion so this is very much about you working out this part of the puzzle. I was thinking today about how life and all the you know, ups and the downs, and especially the downs, they're kind of, and the challenges, we can see them as a puzzle. There's something we need to figure out about how, so if it's me, for example, I need to figure out how to get out of how to get out of my darker emotions, how to get out of my victim mode, how to get out of, you know, self-sabotaging, sabotaging myself. I have to figure that out for myself and you have to figure that out for yourself. And when you hear some of the spiritual teachers talk about how to do it, like Louise Hay and Eckhart Tolle, and they've all got great ideas, but until you implement it and figure it out for yourself in your unique way, until you do it, you actually don't know. You, you can get ideas from the other spiritual teachers, but you need to do it. And I feel like what's being shown through this spread is so wonderful. God's dream for you is that you're out, is that you're shining, is that you are... And you're really not... This is a very internal. You see, I think you're worried about the outside world. Look at that. Look at all the hands there. You're worried about th them. God's saying no, or the universe is saying no. The universe is saying, come back into the self. You love yourself. You approve of yourself. You know, I gave you the gifts. You've been cultivating them since childhood. So you're ready to begin any time you want. If you feel like you haven't begun, but you probably have already begun in some way, but maybe you're going to begin 
to go out in a bigger way, you know, more now, you've got enough money, okay? <laughs> it might not seem like it. Page of Pentacles, you might seem like, is, it, is this it? I, you know, I can't start with it. Need, I need more resources. You've got enough, okay? Um, and this, you, you've got some puzzle-like things to make it interesting as well, okay? You do have some challenges, but it's like you need to alchemize that yourself on your own. Anything that's blocking you, and that, listen, I hope you can hear that bird. Anything that's blocking you, it is, it is illusion. This is a card of illusion, this Eight of Swords. She doesn't need to do much to, she can just, she can literally take that off. What was I saying? She can literally just take that off herself. Th th nothing's tightly bound there. She can walk out. This is illusion. But she needs to figure that out herself. She can get ideas from others, but yeah, she needs, she needs to work that one out. Let's take some of these and then we will get on to the next group. Oh, I'm liking this spread thing. This, this idea is Thank you, guides and angels. This is a great idea today. I just came in my meditation. I'm like, okay, we're doing that then. Right, so let's see what the quotes are going to be. Spiritual evolution occurs as the result of removing obstacles and not actually acquiring anything new. Yes, this is true. That's it. She just, you just have to remove the obstacles and you're, you're going to figure this out. And this is an inside job. This is you sorting you out. You don't need any external help. You don't need anyone. You can get ideas from spiritual teachers. You can get ideas from David Hawkins, you know, or tarot or astrology readings or whatever, but you've got within you the way, the answers as well. Okay. They're all in there. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see what's in here. When we really examine it, we will always find that we have been punishing ourselves for ignorance, naivete, apologies, there's a typo in there, uh, ignorance, naivete, innocence, and lack of inner education. Yeah, and, and I think that can be, I think that is this card a little bit. I think perhaps you've been, I can see that you're being, being hard on yourself. I can see that. And I think you might feel like you have to be perfect before you give what you have to give. Or you might feel another classic is we think we're not qualified enough. I haven't got certifications or, you know, degrees or whatever. No, you know, and, and my response to that is, well, d did Michael Jackson need a qualification to dance? No, he didn't. He'd just get up and dance, you know. So, but this here, I mean, yeah, we, we do punish ourselves. I could feel a bit of self-sabotage in here and um, being hard on the self and lack of inner education. This is just, this is just an inside job. If, if you're perceiving any blocks, if you're perceiving anything, it, that's, that's within. And you have, you are equipped, you have everything to figure this out, to figure out your blocks, to figure out the things that aren't quite working right. And be subtle, be gentle. Uh, inner work is never big shifts or big changes. It's subtle things. It's little things. Figure out the little things that you can do, the little movements. She doesn't have to do much to get out of here. So it, it's that kind of thing. Be gentle with yourself. And one more, and then we're going to get into the next group. Let's take a look here. Oh, absolutely. The body can discern to the finest degree the difference between that which is supportive of life and that which is not. David Hawkins, absolutely. You've got to go easy on yourself in this process. And I think part of where you are, because this butterfly process, that's automatic. That'll just happen. You don't have to work at that. The body just knows. The body knows the right temperature. The body knows what to do. The body knows everything. It just does it naturally. So part of you might be wondering about 
physically how, physically when, physically what, it will happen. Look for ease and happening. You just want to kind of see that these things are just happening, you know, um, the, and, and look for an ease as well. You shouldn't have to force anything with, with doing your work or getting your stuff out there or being you, you know. Um, there, there should be some quality of ease to what it is you're doing. Group number one, this has been such a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I am behind on comments, but hopefully I'll get around to everything soon enough. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Now, if you missed the intro, that's perfectly fine. I'll catch you up here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do one spread that is your dream, and then we're going to do the next spread, which is God's dream for you. Okay, and we just did group one, and this is a cool topic. I'm loving this. So, now let's shuffle a bit more. <laughs> I'll shuffle a bit more consciously. Your dream. What is your dream? What are you becoming? What do you really want to become? What's your dream for you. Okay, we'll take that one. Okay, we'll take that as God's dream. How about it? Uh, both popping out. And take one of these. It has been non stop raining here in Sydney, Australia. Today it has been very, very rainy. Take one of those. Oh, I'm doing this all out of order. God's dream for you. There we go. And one of these. I also just realized I didn't draw. I've got my own deck here, but I didn't draw from it. So I'll do that next week. It just has absolutely not come up to, yeah, to draw from that deck. So we're not doing it. <laughs> it will be back next week. Okay, let's. And let's shuffle in a moment for the other for the other spread. All right, let's see what is your dream for you? What are you becoming? What do you want to become? What do we have here? Oh, how beautiful. Hawk, absolutely. Look at that. You just want to fly, don't you? And you want to be free, of course. Who doesn't want that? And of all the spiritual goals that are out there, to me, I think the number one absolute top best spiritual goal to go for is freedom. That's it. Freedom, that you be free, that you help others be free. That's what this is all about. Because here on earth, with a lot of density, there's a lot of rules, a lot of control, a lot of ego, a lot of all that kind of stuff. And... I can see that you're just not into that and that's good neither am i <laughs> all right let's see what we've got here focus oh how beautiful and you've got a butterfly here as well wow and a full moon oh my gosh look at this it's so incredible because she's kind of in this incredible water droplet bubble type thing which has half air and half water that is remarkable gosh i love the colors as well Okay, good. Dreams, yes. Well, you are in the right place. This is your dream. And you are a dreamer. And we've got Piscean energy here. We've got full moon. We've got a full moon there. We've got flying. So this is so far, we've got someone who's enormously spiritual. You're a dreamer. You're an artist. You've got a great imagination. You can go places, you can traverse realms of consciousness with ease. You know the difference between the dream state, the waking state, the meditative state. You know, who knows, maybe you've even been into the astral plane and all that kind of thing. There's a guy called Jürgen Zewi. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. He, he does all that kind of stuff. The world, yeah, beautiful. Again, we've got this kind of turquoise type theme coming through. So perhaps part of your dream is that you really want to communicate and share with the world your dreams, your ideas, your visions. There's something about you communicating, but it's to do with it's to do with freedom and it's to do it's kind of new earth in nature. It's like you want to inspire people. 
You want to take people places through their mind. How beautiful. Nine of Wands, yeah. But I think, you know, the other thing is that you are in touch with the reality of this world and all its limitations and the way that the world is and that it's it's not easy. I feel like people who maybe if um, you're watching this and you've selected this this group here, group two, you could be running a Jupiter Mercury sort of a line because Jupiter has is the big visionary. So and when I say that you're running a Jupiter Mercury line, so your Rahu Ketu axis is some form of Rahu Jupiter. Okay, so it's either Gemini Sag or it's Virgo Pisces or you're running Rahu Ketu axis 3, 9, houses 3 and 9, or houses 6 and 12. There's something very Jupiterian about you. Something like you big vision, big, big life purpose, big dreams, the world. You're not thinking in small terms. You're thinking really big. We've got strong Jupiter here. And I think you know the Nine of Wands. We've got some dark blue colors in here. You know... The limitations of the world, Saturn, you know, the dark blue, the, the reality, you're in touch with that. You know, you know all too well about all of that. And I think you're trying to work out how to get everyone to come up and be where you are, which is great. Let's see, God's dream and just take one more for God's dream. I'm going to turn these around. Oh, we'll take that one. Oh, and the rain. I don't know if you can hear that. It's coming on quite strong now. Wow. God's dream for you. Well, you are matching up. My goodness. You're in line. Could you be just a little bit more in line with God's dream for you? I don't think so. That is fantastic. Wow. This is amazing. Perhaps maybe the difference here is that there's a little bit more of a a go-getter feel with this. Uh, there's a bit more ambition in here, maybe. I don't know. How stunning. Well, what I can say to you is I think you're dreaming in line with what the universe... You see, because I was thinking about this this morning, that sometimes our dreams, they're quite ego-driven or ego-based sometimes. Sometimes they're escapist in nature um, as well. And I was thinking about my dreams in my early 20s, and they weren't very good. <laughs> I've grown since then and um, yeah so I feel like you're not your dreams I don't think they're egoic in nature or any of that I feel like you're in line you're just this is cool wow okay let's keep going here surrender yes look at that that's beautiful and this is coming right under this focus card here too and I feel like you You'll have quite an intuitive knowing about when to focus, when to be a bit more 3D, when to be a bit more practical. Okay, and if you're running that Jupiter-Mercury line quite strongly, that is quite a thing, isn't it? Because you have to go from being a big visionary to doing the practical things that, okay, you have to start a company, you have to fill in a tax form, you have to, you know, <laughs> it's like, and that requires focus. And there's sort of small mercurial steps but I feel like you've got a good intuition. I think you'll know when to do which, when to surrender, when to let God take over, when you need to focus. Amazing, amazing energy here. Self-acceptance, beautiful. Yeah. And I think God wants you to accept yourself totally. If you're having any doubts about materializing or birthing your dream, or if you're feeling this nine of wands, if you're feeling the burden of it or that it's hard or that it's difficult. I think one of the steps you need to do is totally accept yourself and accept the limitations. Accept that sometimes you're going to be tired. You know, accept that sometimes, you, and this, this has come under here, sometimes you're just going to need a day off, a day of rest, aren't you? You know, it's we have to accept the limitations of being here because the soul is free. We can imagine anything. But the earthly plane, oh gosh, it's, it's hard, heavy work down here. It's not easy. You know, this morning, actually, I was thinking, I had a bit of a day like this where I was like, oh, I, I was a bit headachey. I've overcome it, which is great. I did some meditation, some journaling, and it's gone away. But, you know, 
we have that now and then. We have these earthly limitations. Death and rebirth. Yeah, beautiful. And this is Scorpio. This is the eighth house. This is, this is the point. This is the place where we can completely renew. And I feel like that's part of God's dream for you. That you... Mm, something about you in this incarnation... You're going to totally renew or rebirth or there's something quite incredible here. Wow. Loving that. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Big energy. Wow. And it's so in sync. Your dream for yourself, group number two, is basically in line with exactly what the universe wants for you. That's amazing. That is really, really amazing. I'm so impressed. Wow. Look at that. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. The universe is saying to you, yeah, this is hard. This is going to be hard going. But you've got the wherewithal. You've got everything within you. You've got the world within you. Deepak Chopra says, you are not in the world. The world is in you. You are not in the universe. The universe is in you. You are not in your body. The body is in you, right? So, it's all within you. It's going to take energy. It's going to take focus. But my goodness, you've got, I feel like you've got green lights, the full backing. The universe is saying, yes, your dreams aren't egoic. Your dreams aren't out of line with what the universe would dream for you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, and the camera just went 11-11. Wow, this is so cool. Wow. Group two. Amazing, amazing people come on to these. Again, when I think about what kind of cards and what might I say, the, the cards come out and it's your energy. You guys just blow me away. I think it's amazing people are turning up here. This is great. See, I'm limited by what I think, you know, and then in the doing, in the experiential plane, this is another thing. I always think life is better than our dreams. I always think that. Okay, what have we got here? Facts are accumulated by effort, but truth reveals itself effortlessly. Ooh, that is stunning. And you know what? As I was reading that, this card came into mind. Truth reveals itself effortlessly. I feel like part of your dream or part of the work that you're going to do in the world i think you're going to well definitely you're going to help you're going to help people alchemize their stuff i think and i think you're very new earth you're going to be building the new earth you're going to be encouraging people in the right way freeing help freeing people you know as, as part of your work as part of what you do your creativity, what it is that you put out in the world, you're going to help free other people. Amazing, group two. That is amazing. See, and facts are accumulated by effort. That's incredible as well. Nine of wands, ten of wands. Look at all the effort of the world, the egoic world of facts, of logic, of, you know, and it is some of that mercurial stuff too, of doing your taxes and starting your company and, and all of that. Oh, gosh. Let's have a look in here. The degree to which we have not allowed ourselves to experience the reality of our true self is represented by our resentment towards those who have actually done so. Yeah, I love this quote. This is such a stunning quote. And I could imagine that this isn't applying to anyone in this group, but I could imagine that you would know people who this applies to and I think you're good on the self-acceptance front I think you do that but I would imagine that you have people around you who are not practicing this so much but whom you are going to help to get to this place of understanding a quote like this this quote it does touch on things like yeah I mean people who are jealous of other people's success right like um you know and I think your, your inner being and everything about you 
you're in alignment with wanting freedom and I think you're the kind of person who when you see other people flying and succeeding and doing well you're happy for that that is completely in line here so I this is why I'm saying that this relates to people around you and that's where they are and that's okay and these might be people that you will be helping you know um, to come out of that and to be free to be free of that that way of thinking that those people who are resentment that kind of thing in resentment okay let's see what we've got here if we let go of guilt we will see innocence however a guilt-ridden person will see only evil the basic rule is that we focus on what we have repressed yes and that's here again this death card here you're going to be you're a light worker you're a counselor you're a psychologist writer artist um, what else musician you, you you'll be all these kinds of things through your work through what it is you do you're going to be helping people alchemize things like guilt um, shame evil you know re repressed emotions your part of your life purpose I think is very much to help other people to kind of you know in that in the eighth house have a brand new beginning a brand new start to totally completely alchemize and transform something you're going to be helping people to do that group number two this has been an absolutely sensational reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. It has become really dark in this room, but you know what? We'll just keep going. I won't turn the light on because that'll probably mess everything up. And what I'll do is I'll try and colorize this on the computer if I can. But yeah, I've basically lost an hour of daylight because we had daylight savings. And the other thing is I'm doing this quite a little bit later. And the other thing is it's, we've got massive dark clouds. It's just been nonstop raining here all day. So yeah, it's kind of dark in here. It's a bit, the lighting might be a bit odd. Okay, now this is gonna be your dream what do you dream that you're becoming and we're going to take a look at god's dream for you so this topic came to me this morning after some meditation i was going to do something completely different and then this morning it all changed and i was like oh and i actually really liked it i was like oh that's actually much better than what i was wanting to do so see god always has better ideas god the universe Whatever you want to label, whatever label you want to give to the, to the immeasurable, to the, to the unfathomable. How about that? All right, let's take that one. The, the immensity, is that what Krishnamurti calls it? He has some, I don't know, it's immense something or other. He's got some interesting words. Okay, let's see what's your dream. And what is the universe's dream for you? Okay. And get some from here. I don't know if the rain will come up on the audio, but it's, it's quite lovely. Actually, it's getting a bit extreme at the moment. <laughs> Sometimes that's a bit worrying. But I'm sure the plants are loving it. In fact, we grow basil in our garden and the oranges, well, we've got oranges, they're getting huge, absolutely huge. Why don't we shuffle them all now? God's dream for you. Okay. Oh, let's take it. Oh, do I want that many? No. <laughs> I want one. Come on, universe. We want it all to fit on the camera. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's take a look, let's see what's going on. This has been a lot of fun. Do you know, I've got this little cockatoo feather here, which is all about the mischief maker, the fun, you know, and yeah, this, this, is, a, this is a fun topic. I'm really loving it. All right, let's see what we've got. 
so your dream who or what is it that you want to become all right we've got the octopus here wow oh that's incredible and straight away the first thing that came into my mind was far-reaching it's like you want your work your impact your influence to be far-reaching that is really exciting trust yep oh that's amazing do you know I was getting the trust card from this deck a lot at one time and I hardly ever shuffle for myself but that when I got when this was new I shuffled it three times every single time I got the trust card <laughs> so I'm like okay that's not a subtle point you're making universe trust yeah I, I I know how hard this is to do it's not easy it's not easy to trust part of your dream might be that the work that you put into the world you're helping others to trust you're helping others to to follow their path in some way miracles how beautiful yes Oh, I love that. And I think there's a part of you that wants to experience the miracles, that wants to be surprised and delighted by the universe. This came up in an email that I was writing to one of you, or was it a, a reading I did? I can't remember. It was a few readings ago, but it was something about the unknown. That, that the unknown has a tremendous power and that actually no one knows the answer. Not, no astrologer, no tarot reader, no, no, nobody, like no one on this earth plane really knows the answer, really knows what's coming next. And that's part of the thrill of being here. And I think part of your dream and what it is that you've wanted through this incarnation, through being here, is that you've wanted to forget and you've wanted to experience miracles here. You've wanted to, you've wanted to play the game of hide and seek and you are trusting, I think, and you, but you've wanted, you've wanted the fun of the game of life, you know. Manifestation, Princess of Discs. So this is the Page of Discs, Manifestation. Yes, I, I, I get the sense that you've wanted the limitations. Because when we're on that other side and we're totally unlimited, we want the contrast of being here. We want, you know, and it's, I, I said this, I think I said this in one of the very old Pick a Card readings a long time ago. I mentioned this concept of the TV show, The Secret Millionaire, where these millionaires, they go and they um, pretend to work in a humble little cafe and they earn like 10 pounds a day. And, you know, they befriend various people and there's a camera crew following them and they pretend to be making a documentary of that area or something like that. And then after a few weeks, they reveal to the town well I'm actually a millionaire and you know because you helped me when I had very little and you helped me I'm going to give you a check for you know 10,000 100,000 whatever anyway I brought all of that up because I really like that analogy in spiritual terms because we are all secret millionaires you know we all come from unlimited abundance and bliss and beauty and all that kind of thing we all come from that and we've all put on these disguises, you know, and limitations uh, in order to experience the fun of the game, you know. Um, and who is it that helps us and who, who do we befriend and who do we reward and all that kind of thing. Yeah, there's something here like that in this, in this group. So I, got, I get the feeling that you're an enormously powerful grand and great spiritual being but you're here pretending you're kind of enjoying the limitations actually and you want to experience 
you want to taste the energy of home through a miracle, you know, um, here on this strange plane kind of thing, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Wow, two of cups, union, yeah. Yeah, that's the bliss that you come from, is this pure love, you know. Pure love, abundance, bliss. You've put on a disguise kind of thing. And you do trust. I think you trust. I think, you, I think you're playing life as that secret millionaire. You know where we come from. I imagine now and then maybe you feel a bit homesick. You know, you might be like, yeah, because the limitations are tough here. They really are. But it's illusion. So too is time. It seems like we're here for a really long time. It's not that long. That's for sure. Okay, let's see. Oh gosh, I've spoken a lot about your dream. Let's get into God's dream for you. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that dolphin and all the colors. Look at the colors. See, there's only just a little bit of color here. And look at the explosion of color that we've got here. I kind of feel like God wants you to have more fun. And, but I think you are having fun because I think you know this secret millionaire type analogy and you're, you know that. But yeah, I, I feel like God wants you to have more fun with that, with that concept, to be more playful, to know that you return to the riches for sure. You are that. Wow, let's keep going here. All right, realization. That's a stunning picture. Wow, look at that keyhole, it's huge. Yes, this is very much mm, this thing of what is home and like we come from the stars we come from heaven we come from bliss from abundance and we come to this earthly plane where there are limitations there are difficulties there are storm clouds and we come it's just a short while it's like those people on the secret millionaire they're just on that tv show they're just in that town earning 10 pounds a day or whatever like for a few weeks kind of thing and then by the end of the program yeah they reveal their true selves and that is such a cool show i used to like watching it it was on a long time ago oh wow new beginnings yes and this could be something connecting in with your origins perhaps your most recent origins or like perhaps where you were most recently was in a different star system you know because i think uh is it true that the pleiades they have some connection with dolphins i think the pleiadians have some connection with dolphins i think i'm not sure about that but dolphins are enormously intelligent the way they communicate yeah there's some there's some star being type thing coming through in this in this reading isn't that fascinating that's like the first this is the first pick a card reading where i've mentioned star beings and all that kind of thing how amazing i was discussing that with one of you on the emails it was so fascinating because there was all these kind of stars in the background and sky okay let's see but i feel like perhaps maybe some of your most recent incarnations were actually perhaps from the you've come from the future or something, or you've come from a more advanced star being type civilization. Yeah. Prince of Discs. So this would be the, the Knight of Pentacles. Because the Princess of Discs is the Page of Pentacles. Here we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so time slowness yeah i think i think one of the things that you're probably experiencing or feeling as part of your dream it's quite amazing because i feel like you're quite in line with what the universe wanted for you in this incarnation i feel like you're not you're like group two you're not far off from you're very in sync in tune with what the universe wants from you and they want you to experience the slowness of time, the uniqueness of time. Because in other dimensions, in other planes, in other realms, I think time is, is very different. 
And I know time to be created by Saturn. Saturn's outer rim creates time. He also materializes everything as well. Once you get out of that, once you get out of that orbit, it's a whole different thing. Amazing. Okay. Oh, wow. Three of, three of swords. Yeah, sorrow. Yeah, Saturn. Isn't that interesting? I was just talking about Saturn's outer rim. You've come to, to be within Saturn's orbit. Saturn is sorrow, you know, and you have come to experience contrast, to experience uh, so that part of God's plan for you and what God wanted for you this time around is not, God doesn't want you to be heartbroken or miserable or sad. No, that's not it. It's the point of being here. It's like, it's like expanding one's heart to feel all the different emotions. I've heard that on this plane, this is, so they, they talk about this as the water world. So when I've listened to alien channelers and star being channelers and those kind of things, a lot of um, the star beings have said things like, this is the water world. Like it's very beautiful because of all the water. So look at that. We've got two water creatures here. What other things have they said? Yeah, emotions, that the full spectrum of emotions Earth is like the most emotional place in the universe as well. The breadth of emotions that we can experience. And I always liken emotions to, it's like when you're painting. Imagine trying to paint a picture, and this is quite interesting. Imagine trying to paint a picture with only pastel colors, you see. Now, when if you only have pastel colors available to you, you can't define anything. Everything's just a blur. But when you have access to black and darker colors, you can create shadow, you can create contrast, you can make something really pop out even more. So actually when it comes to emotions, we have come to this earth to experience the full spectrum. We want that, we want a color palette that's full of all the different, you know, yes, we want our pastels over here, but we want our dark colors here too as an artist, right? And I think part of what the universe wants for you is to have like an enormously huge color palette. You know, the universe wants you to master the emotional realm this time around. So I think you're gonna be given all kinds of experiences so that you feel all the different feelings and the uniqueness of them and you know intimately what they are. You know, and you're going to learn that, yes, through love, but through contrast, through heartbreak as well, you know, um, through things happening quickly, through things going slowly. Absolutely. Oh, this is an incredible spread group number three. Let's take a look and see what's in here before. Oh, the camera's going to time out, you know. It's okay. Start another memory card. I'll let it time out. All right, let's hop into these and see what's going on in here. So it says, in acceptance, there is a decreased preoccupation with doingness and a growing focus on the quality of beingness itself. Absolutely. And that's beingness that's the effortlessness of life you know how things happen really effortlessly for some people that it's effortless because they're just being they're not trying to do anything they're not efforting they're not you know they're just being and everything works out that is such an art and that is something that you know we're all practicing all the time Okay, desire, especially strong desire, frequently blocks our getting what we want. Yes, and I think that is something that the universe wants you to experience. The universe wants you to experience strong desire. Look at that, strong desire. And where, where is the desire the strongest? Well, of course, it's in love. You know, that is where, that is, gosh, I mean, yeah, 
this this is where the desire is the strongest isn't it you know for the one that you love for the one that you crave right that's that's where the desire is the strongest and to be able to master have mastery over that uh, that is you become an incredibly powerful being you know um, if you've got that one in check I don't want to say that you control desire or that you don't have desire no but you, that you that you understand your desire fully is a really good thing and that you see because desire frequently blocks our getting what we want this desire is also the thing that will switch off your intuition as well okay so if you want to be more intuitive this is why you can't really sometimes intuit things for yourself it's like how a dentist needs to see another dentist right a dentist can't like drill his own teeth similarly for a psychic or an astrologer or you know we need to consult other people because when you have desire you can't it's hard to read for yourself because your desire will stop you from seeing there's also desire can block us from seeing our own blind spots from seeing our own weaknesses as well sometimes desire is a, a tricky thing actually yeah and it's not i don't feel like it needs to be as i was saying i don't think it needs to be conquered or banished or abandoned or no desire i think just needs to be understood you know and, and i think that's what that's what your incarnation this time part of your dream is that yeah you want to experience love and miracles and of course all the great things too but i feel like the universe wants you to to be more than just happy the universe wants you to attain some mastery actually you can, you you have the potential to be enormously powerful i think with this incarnation that you're in let's have a look here what do we have in here okay no, oh, it's going to focus. There we go. Oh, lovely. Yeah. When we heal something in ourselves, we heal it for the world. Absolutely. Whenever we come up with something, and the, the, the other thing is, I, I think I talked about this in group one where I said, healing, you have to heal your own self. So, yes, you can get ideas from someone like Louise Hay or someone like Eckhart Tolle or, or the great spiritual teachers. You can get ideas from them on how they did it for themselves. But you must find your unique way and you must do it for yourself because your way is going to be unique to you. And I think part of this incarnation and part of God's dream for you or the universe's dream for you is that you had lots of different experiences and that you learn how to alchemize heartbreak, how to alchemize some of the lower emotions. That's, that's your work to do for you, you know, and, and you'll be able to share that with other people because of course you've got the dolphin here as well the great communicator guys i want to thank you so much for tuning in to this reading please let me know how you get on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.